what's going on guys welcome back to clash with eric today we are continuing our week of sneak peeks here as we get ready for the launch of town hall 13. so in case you missed any of the sneak peeks here's a quick rundown of them day one we revealed the newly designed town hall 13 with the giga inferno built into it day two we upgraded our workshop and we checked out the new siege machine the siege barracks what a beast that is day three we went on to the defensive here and we showed off the scatter shot, wrecking some armies on defense. Then we need to bump up our offense. So day four, we brought you the Yeti, but something's missing. Something is missing. What is coming for day five? Stay tuned to find out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you guys enjoy these videos, don't forget to go into your settings, go all the way down to the bottom and where it says support our creator, type in code Eric. All right, guys, let's go check out what is coming. All right, guys, you're ready for number five? I introduced to you the biggest change of Clash of Clans in years, the most significant change and the most impactful change of the Town Hall 13 update. I introduced to you All right, guys, there we have it. The Royal Champion takes her place among the other heroes. Clash of Clans, newest hero, and what a powerhouse she is. Let's go and check out all of her stats here. Compared to the Queen, see how much punch she has, how much health she has, and how she stands up to the others. And let's go take her into battle here, test out some mechanics, and then we'll go take her into some full-scale battles and see if we can bring down some bases. All right, guys, let's dive into the stats of the new Royal Champion hero. So this is a new Dark Elixir hero, and going from level 1 to level 20 at Town Hall 13 is going to be one heck of a grind, guys. That is a lot of Dark Elixir, and it's going to take you a little while to push her all the way to max, but she's definitely worth it. She's super powerful, and to have another hero... In your arsenal that can do a charge so you can do a queen charge you can do a warden charge and now you can do a royal champion charge and if you can do it all at the same time it's quite powerful as you saw in that little intro clip that i did just a minute ago so that royal champion can charge deep into the base there and let's pull up her stats here so she doesn't quite hit as hard as the queen look how cool she looks uh she's young she's fierce she's wild and she's jumping over walls and stuff she's she's pretty nuts guys all right so let's pop the queen here so we can get a baseline of a uh, comparison of stats here so she doesn't quite hit as hard as the queen and her ability doesn't boost her damage her ability is that she throws a shield so the shield will throw it's going to bounce and prioritize defenses just like she does she'll go after defenses but unlike other defense priority targets she will also turn on heroes and she'll turn on cc troops so she will jump walls target heroes target only defenses and ignore all the trash guys how more perfect could you get for a character to do a deep charge in the base there if you can map out 
kind of where she's going to go, you can direct her defense base there. Unfortunately, since she does target only defenses, she won't go after the town hall. So you got to have a different plan for that. But she can go in and get some massive value. And if you do it right, you can potentially have a queen charge going on her flank and do both at the same time and a ward charge. Guys, I, I'm, I want to see what people can come up with this attack and maybe maybe you can mix her with miners or you can mix her with hogs and not do the healers and just do like a queen charge and just supplement her into those and i don't know she says she jumps walls she's very difficult to control but she has more health than the queen which is nice uh but she can't actually take on the queen so if you if you go head to head with the queen in uh like one-on-one -on -one, the the queen will win on defense if you don't even if you use the royal champion's ability the queen will win but if you put a rage on the royal champion she can burn through that queen without too much trouble so definitely rage her if you approach any hero if you decide you want to do one of those charges all right so um let's uh, hide these queen stats here and go over to her ability stats here and let's see so when she uses her ability the damage is set so she'll do a strike it'll the shield will throw through four different targets and it will recover her health and i think she goes invisible for a second it says the royal champion throws a shield at the nearest defense dealing a blow that is certain to leave a dent then the shield bounces onward to other defenses nearby and dishes out additional destruction so uh she doesn't go invisible like the queen so she doesn't get a retarget and i think that is the biggest thing that makes her go down to the enemy queen if you don't use her ability so if she gets the health back that other queen does so much damage so quick that she's down within another four seconds because the queen does so much damage so be very careful and use her smartly but now let's go let's go dive into some mechanics here and just kind of test out her ability and just uh, her wall jumping and stuff like that. Just kind of get a feel for how she works. And then we'll go and take her into a real fight and see if we can bring down some bases. All right, guys, I've set up a little bit of an obstacle course here to put all of her abilities on display here and see what she's capable of and some challenges that you might face. If there's something specific that you want to see that I'm not showing here for anything update related, then uh, put it in the comment section down below. And I've been collecting a list throughout the week here. And I'm going to try to put together an FAQ for everything update related to go over some commonly asked questions. So let's charge her through here and see how she does. So immediately after dropping, you're going to see she goes directly after the Grand War statue, skipping over the trash there. She is a defense targeting hero and she will still stop to fight uh, the CC. She'll stop to fight other heroes and she'll stop to fight skeleton traps. So don't worry too much about that. But one of the biggest challenges I'm noticing is since she's skipping all the trash, she's not collecting a lot of percentage. So we're going to see the town hall approaching up ahead. And as she approaches this air defense and infernos, her healers do get targeted. So you got to be really careful with that. Let's get a rage down here while she engages the queen and stuck in that tornado trap for just a second. It's to take her a little bit to work her way out of that. And then she'll take a, oh, she's switching back and forth here. She can't decide where she wants to go. Let's freeze that up because she was taking some heavy fire and her ability unlike the archer queen will not send her invisible so the targets will continue hitting her she does get quite a bit of health back so let's get a rage down as she moves into the, all this and let's uh get ready to use her ability here right oh pop it right here and let's see how much damage it does so it hits four targets there almost clears all the expos there but moving through four expos and the scatter shot did pretty well did pretty well so all right this is what i'm talking about she makes it through and she's been charging for over a minute now it looks like unless i started late i think it's been she's been charging for over a minute and she doesn't get the town hall so she got some big value she doesn't get the town hall and the percentage is so low 13 percent from that charge and there was a lot of value in that charge both heroes actually all three heroes the cc all the expos the scatter shots like there was a lot there if she's taking on inferno and stuff on top of that or the eagle huge huge value potential but no town hall activation so i've got another way that we can go in and if we're doing these like multiple charge attacks here then i've decided that a great use of yetis is to just have this the balloon go in and just drop a drop a rage and uh yeti or yeti's out of the cc i mean and just let them take it out so well they actually took it out pretty well 
They actually survived it. Normally, I just have them go in and then all the defenses around it pop the Yeti, and then the Yeti might end up killing the Town Hall. But these ones decided they just wanted to take out the Town Hall by themselves. So, all right, guys, I think that gives us a basic idea of how this new hero works. And now, let's go take it into battle here and see if we can bring down some bases and get some triples. All right, guys, we're going to kick this off with what might be one of the most challenging Town Hall 13 attacks, and that's going to be a Queen Charge and a Royal Guard, or Royal, uh, not Royal Guard, Royal Champion Charge in parallel. That's going to take me some getting used to. I keep thinking Royal Guard for some reason, but Royal Champion it is. All right, so what I'm thinking is since the Royal Champion can't take the Town Hall, then I'm going to have my Queen charge the Town Hall, and I'm going to have the Royal Champion charge on her flank there so they can kind of cross tank for each other a little bit so let's put the king to go here to find out that a king here from the funnel let's put my queen here and put the healers here and we'll let them work their way in let's get my royal champion to come in over here and uh get the wall wrecker to go in right there so here we go we're pushing in let's get the baby dragon down here to do a little bit of tanking and let's uh let's just pay attention to both here i have uh, plenty of rages here and we're just gonna see how far we can drive them into the base here this baby dragon doing a nice job of clearing behind the royal champion there but the royal champion is taking some damage so let's get a rage on her as she purchased the air defense as well because uh she has to get the air defense down quickly so she doesn't have it uh, target her healer. So let's get another rage for her as she goes into the inferno. And my queen's doing good on the other side there. We got one more rage to work with. Let's hold that for engaging the queen. We have a CC pull that is kind of splitting in both directions there. So both of my heroes are going to have to deal with half of that. We have abilities on both sides here. And I have a freeze that I can use up on the queen here to get my queen through. So might be okay there. Um, Bunch of Yeti Mites there going off on my Queen. Let's uh, pop her ability, or not her ability, uh, pop a Freeze on the Queen there. And let's get ready for ability on the Royal Champion. There we go. And um, so far, so good. So far, so good. Let's uh, get ready for a Freeze there. And let's start this uh, Lalo. So we'll go Lalo, Warden. You're out of spells there for the actual uh, heroes. So let's uh, see if we can get a haste into here. We got an early warden ability while my queen is still alive, and as we're engaged, that scatter shot. So warden or ability now, and we'll get a haste here, and my queen is still alive. The royal champion went down. Uh, we're doing pretty good here. If I get that uh, inferno down, there we go. There we go. Gosh, that goes quick. That goes quick. That's pretty fast paced, guys. That's pretty fast paced. It is challenging. And I got out of it with a queen ability still intact. And that royal champion cleared half of the base. The queen cleared like half of the base. And a small Lalo just took out everything that was left. And uh, with over a minute left after the charges were done, it's pretty strong, guys. It's pretty strong here. It is a lot to be able to focus on. To be able to watch a queen charge, a... Uh, royal champion charge and do a laloon all simultaneously is it's a it's a challenge but we got a lot of time here to clean up here for the most part so with another 30 seconds here we'll pop that queen ability and we'll get out of this one with a triple so that is my idea for the laloon and i think that is going to be a big part of the meta going into town hall 13. all right guys let's go check out some uh more ground-based attacks and see how it mixes in with like a sui hero hogs or something like that that's my next idea. All right, guys, let's see if we can take down the space with the mess hogs. We're going to use three of the heroes, the king, the queen, and the royal champion to go take out the town hall and see how much punch they can go into that area. Normally use uh, P.E.K.K.A.s here to go with the heroes, but we're going to use some yetis, and I have yetis in my wall wrecker as well to punch in and take that town hall. So let's see what we can do here, and then we'll swing and take the hogs on the rest of the base here. But we got to get some good value out of these heroes, and that royal champion should help a lot with that. So we'll put a yeti on both sides here to form the funnel we'll with the ice golem in the middle. We'll put the wall wrecker. Let's get the king queen and royal champion right there let's see if we can uh, get them in there a little bit we're gonna be patient on my on my ability here for just or not my ability my rage and see how far we can punch in here uh, i want the rage to cover up to the intersection there so that i can fight the queen with it as well so we are punching in nicely let's uh down holes down looking so far so good uh, we got my royal champion they're gonna target let's pop her ability and her there's no real range on her little ability there so let's pop my queen get that enemy queen down 
And looks like my king and a yeti are exiting the base over on the left side there. So uh, let's send in the hogs from that side, I'm thinking then. My queen fighting off the yetis. Does she get it? Not quite. She doesn't get it. The king will get it, though. All right, so let's let the yetis get out of there over to the king there before we uh, pop his ability here. He's going to take some heavy damage from all those yeti mites there. And we'll get some cross tanking here from the king to the hogs here. So let's get him get into position here just a little bit. And... Uh, Get ready for hogs. Let's send in a couple because I know there's a troll Tesla up here. Pop that king. And here we go. Hoggies coming in hot. Mass hogs warded down. We'll save a couple hogs to go in afterwards. Get a heal through the bomb tower. And let's see if we can get in here. Let's uh, freeze up the scatter shot and the eagle. And let's get another heal going into here. So I freeze that again. We'll freeze the other scatter shot in that eagle. And uh, we'll go for the ward ability now. And uh, get a couple more hogs into the top side here. Another heal here. I got one more heal to work with here. So if I get that scatter shot down to the bottom side, we'll be doing pretty well here. If I get this inferno down down here, that'd be huge. Uh, the other hogs are coming down. Maybe I should have used that heal on those other hogs, but maybe they'll move into it. They're moving to the expo. Doing all right. We need to get some cleanup down. My king's doing a pretty good job on the cleanup, though. So maybe we'll be fine with that. Uh, still work on that Inferno, though. Hitting some giant bombs in there. Let's get the Tesla down up here. Get some cleanup on the corners. And I need some cleanup to go inside of the base there to go after some of that. But my hogs did fall up short here. Probably because I messed up the heals here. But the... The heroes did a really good job of punching in and taking out a lot of value there. So I would say overall, they did pretty darn good here, guys. Let's uh, get all these uh, wizards here to try to punch in. But I did wait a really long time there before I started the hogs, waiting on the king. So we wasted some time. We're not going to get the three star on this one. But you can see the potential of adding that extra hero to an already strong attack. So this one, this one, I think will remain a staple at Town Hall 13, the same as it was at Town Hall 12. So keep this one in mind. And I got one more that I want to show you where we send in uh, like a P.E.K.K.A. smash more like. All right, guys, let's see if we can take down a uh, ring base here with a Yeti smash. And we got that Royal Champion there mixed in. And we tried this yesterday and we were unsuccessful. So maybe with the Royal Champion there getting us a little bit more punch, we can make it happen. So I'm thinking we'll send in a Wizard up on the top side. We'll put the King to go form the funnel here. And then we will send in, we'll just uh, start with just a couple Yetis here to start to uh, work in a tank for that wall wrecker and then we will add in more and we'll add in the, the healers and the other heroes and then the bullers. All right, so let's punch in here and see how we can do as we punch in this base here. Let's get some freeze. I got some high value from both of the scatter shots and the eagle right here. Pop this king ability and we're doing decent. That Look at the, the royal champion there. She pops out ahead. We'll freeze up that single inferno that was targeting her and we'll get a uh, ready for a ward ability here in a second. We'll pop it now because my royal champion is getting targeted there. So hopefully that town hall goes down. We got the heal, another rage. All right, so let's watch this royal champion. And uh, where is she? Where is she? See this? Oh, there she is. I see her. I see her. I see her. Is she getting targeted? I think she's safe right now. I think she's safe. So we got a good punch here. Uh, let's just uh, use this uh, Royal Champion ability inside the rage there. Got some nice hits. Almost took out the Inferno with it. So let's make it some good progress through that side. Uh, we got another rage here. Let's get that rage and rage these healers up and see if we can get into the back side of this base here. My queen decides she's veering off there. So let's take advantage of her doing a little bit of tanking. And let's get some wizards down on the back side here to snipe some of these. Maybe that was a bad idea. Maybe that was a bad idea. We kind of wasted those. And I got my queen... See if we can ride her ability out as long as possible. Up and now with that giant bomb. Okay. Do we got it? No, I don't think we got it. Not quite. Not quite. Uh. Well, I don't know. Cool attack though. Maybe not the base or not the attack for this base, but we made some decent progress here. We saw the Royal Champion in action. And I think where she's really going to shine there because she does surge so far forward against all these ground troops here because she jumps the walls and stuff that I think she does best in a Sui hero format or a hero charge format. So maybe we can test out some more and send her with hogs or miners. But I think miners, she's just going to get targeted and not going to get the most value there. But hogs, 
Maybe she could go with hogs if she doesn't go in with the heroes. So something to keep in mind there, guys. But I think that's where we're going to call this one today. I, I'm excited for this new hero, but there's still more to come. So Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is the Town Hall 12 Cup Tournament in Poland. So I'm thinking they're they're going to be doing some stuff with town hall 13 related with that as well so make sure you tune into that tournament and go cheer on the teams there and maybe you can get some more sneak peeks as we get ready for town hall 13 all right guys that's gonna be it for today thank you so much for coming out and joining me and if you have not already then Go into your settings tab, hit more settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom and where it says support a creator, type in code Eric if you enjoy these videos and you want to see more and you want to help support the channel. All right, guys, take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.